Thank you for giving me hope, and that not every single female is absolutely despicable, but also reinforcing that they are. Dude, make up your mind. Hello, and welcome back to r slash incel tier. The only bit of justice left in the world is that not all foids can have Chad. They make get to get messing around with Chad once, and it boosts their ego, but the ugly ones will never be able to lock down Chad for a relationship. It's life fuel to see how many single women crying about about where the good men are when they dodge them for years. However, if people start pushing for polygamy, multiple foids can get Chad if they want, and he can form harems of women, then there truly isn't justice. Something I've been seeing as of late is people both blue and black pill calling the black pill and in seldom an ideology or referring to incel ideology. There is no ideology. Stop calling the black pill an ideology. It's factually incorrect, and it gives ammunition to people who speak out against it, those who speak out against the truth. It's as much an ideology as a theory of relativity. The only reason it would be called an ideology is to make it easier to paint us as a terrorist organization such as incel. The black pill is pure, undistilled truth in its raw form. Those who are black pill usually notice its manifestations in our biological and evolutionary reality, and the resultant social sexual dynamic that follow from it. The black pill isn't about looks, it's about truth. Looks are simply one area where the truth of the matter is so blatantly evident that no intelligent mind can reasonably reject it. To be blackpilled simply means to speak the truth and the reality of something, to see things for how they truly are. It's conceptually antithetical to the notion of ideology. There's a lot of bullshot in many ideologies, religious, political, and economic. Ideologies are systems of beliefs. Those beliefs don't necessarily have to be true or correct. They only have to work for whatever society or system they apply to. The black pill is free from all of the baggage that ideologies carry. Why is there estrogen in everything, but testosterone is like a holy grail that can't be found? It's estrogen in drinking water, plastics, soy, beer, shampoo, and I don't know what else. Seems like every commonplace product is clucking you with estrogen. But with testosterone, you got people doing all shady bro science stuff, like eating raw onions and taking cold showers, desperately trying to get some scraps of that hormone, but there's still no proof of it being gained anywhere except drugs, which are hard banned. Okay, just saying right now, raw onions is how I do them on burgers, and also cold showers help your metabolism. You ain't special. And if you use birth control, you're a wholesome, because birth control is for wholesomes. Why would you need that if you weren't a wholesome? LOL, boo hoo! I'm a wholesome because I don't want period cramps. Most clucks suppress their attraction to young foids to feel better about about themselves. I think what makes us different is that we are allowed to speak freely here. Here you can actually say you are attracted to JBS. Here you can say you have a two inch dong and no one will care about it because we're all subhuman anyway. Most of us have nothing to lose. No man should be able to resist an attractive 14 to 15 year old Floyd. The only reason everyone seems to think we are perverts is because we are the ones of the only groups on the internet who can be honest about what we want and what we have. No one with a job or other position would dare to speak about feeling an attraction to young females due to the risk of losing their status. But I can assure you that every dude who isn't a happy feels this regularly but chooses to suppress it if there are other things at stake. Attraction to neoteny is hardwired in the male brain because it ensures the best quality of reproduction. This is something that Foids cannot understand because of obvious reasons and is why they are more offended by topics like this. Saying that you get to speak your mind and be honest does not give you the right to be human filth. And just a heads up, if you feel uncomfortable saying it to an FBI officer, you probably shouldn't be saying it at all. 
I can tell if women don't have any self-awareness, or if they do this on purpose in order to keep men in line as a dual mating tragedy. This works because it makes a loyal star for attention men even more loyal because he won't be like all those other men. Well, they 100% do it on purpose. Just for last, if you don't think most people know what they are doing, including Foids, they're not stupid, they're evil. They just feign ignorance, constantly lie through their teeth, and legitimately do not care about anything or anyone else but their own goals, regardless of ethics or truth. Never give up your seat for a pregnant woman. Only clucks give up their seats for a woman that was recently cooling pint with Chad. You seriously think spraying your legs makes you special and entitled to a seat? You're not entitled to my seat. If you ever find yourself in the situation of a pregantis void, asking you if you could give up your seat, just remember that she was willing to open her legs for Chad, but would never open them for you. I'm going to say my body, my choice. If they ever ask me to move up, oh, dude, you are so off. Notice the distinction between r slash big dong problems and r slash small dong problems ultimate black pill. On BDP, it's guys humble bragging about their size and how it is so sad that they have to order custom made rubbers. It is the anatomical equivalent of an upper middle class white person complaining about their first world problems. Then, you have SDP where it is a commonplace for posts about ideation, depression, anxiety, mental illness, reaching the front page week in, week out. You have men lamenting the fact that no matter what they do and how hard they work, it's unlikely that any women will stay with them, and in the rare case she does, she will never be satisfied with him. Because, regardless of what the blue-pilled copers say, using hands plus mouth will never, ever compensate for actual intercourse, and a small dong simply is incapable of providing the same pleasure that a large dong would to a woman. Sure, theoretically, women who don't care exist, but every woman would rather have a larger dong than a smaller one on their partner. Notice that there exist women who fetishize large dongs, i.e. size coins. But have you ever heard of women who fetishize small dongs? There's a reason there's such a prevalence of large dong having positive associations with virility in our society, and why small dongs are used as an insult. Size absolutely does matter, and anyone saying otherwise is coping. Normies acting loud, nobody loses their virginity before 18. What the frick is wrong with these rards? These blue pillars try to keep young cells away from the black pill by acting like nobody messes around before 18, but we already know the statistics for virginity loss. The average age of virginity loss is 17, so that means that most people have lost their virginity before 18 years old. Venting. Women manipulated normies into thinking they are equal. Many of us on here ask, how are all these normies slash incels in denial still blue-pilled? This is because of the grand illusion of men and women being the same slash women being better. The media will go as far to represent a woman as some smart bad butt who doesn't need a man, and a man as a dumb slob. Womanism has subconsciously made many normies, and some of you think they can equate to the value of a woman to a man. Women would never meant to be this sought after. It is only in this era that these useless beings are glorified to such a high extent. As a result of normies believing this, they will take a woman's word for whatever she says and believe that any issues a man has, a woman can have too. That is simply not true though. A woman's issue will never compare to the loneliness and agony many men go through. These days, the wife will never understand her husband coming home from work tired just wanting to eat. Instead, they will call it toxic masculinity. Women issues are inflated to no end. Meanwhile, men could be dying because they have real problems. When a man is depressed, nine out of ten times, he's only got himself. When a woman is depressed, she doesn't even have a good reason to be. One hundred different men will message her if she's depressed or not from all of her social medias. All of her orbiters or friends will help 
help her through it. So many men will take the idea of female plight and depression very seriously and decide they have it equally as bad as your average depressed man. If we could get normies to understand women do not share our issues at all and in fact have it significantly easier, that would be a good step to blackpilling them. I'm starting to hate all women. Seriously, I just saw a video of a white male traveling across the world. There were girls from supposedly very strict, conservative backgrounds, and the girl wanted to talk to him and were all giggling. Just for laughs, even those clunks are hungry for white chicken. Meanwhile, they would give me no attention if I was there. If I dared to look at any of the girls for more than a second, let alone try to initiate a conversation, she would send her father, her uncles, brothers, and cousins to lunch me. Normally, I would consider it sweet fuel and a feel like shot, but now it just makes me hate them. Yeah, pretty funny how most young guys are rotting alone depressed while women are being slottier than ever outside. Every single white woman right now is going to countless vacations paid by daddy, going to bars, clubs, parties, venues, slash shows all the time, just basically living a completely carefree, great life with no worries, because that's what it is. It's all paid for by everyone else, and literally no wrong can happen to them, because they have the government and simps to cover their every frick up. It's happening more than ever because roasts also now needed to document everything on Instagram more than ever. Meanwhile, more and more young guys are rotting alone, depressed, coping with video games. Just look at the rising popularity of those types of forums, of games, or copes aimed towards males in general. I'm not going to comment on how useless wholesomes are trying to invade those copes as well. I'll just say I hope they die extremely painful death in agonizing pain. I'm sure some useless fat clunk on IT will try to say something like, but I don't, and just keep in mind those useless wholesomes don't count because they are subhuman trash, which is saying something as a woman since women are queens is law in the West. The real reason we can't obtain girlfriends. The government. Basically, the formula goes like this. Void fricks Chad and becomes a single mom. Chad leaves to frick other females. Abandoned Void gets welfare checks from taxpayers providing her a sustainable income and doesn't need to do anything else she already spread her genetics and is taking care of Chad's son slash daughter feds please don't raid me I'm just spitting facts on screen shottable women and most normies don't actually give a frick if the black pill is true or not they don't care about evidence stats and experiments any evidence you provide is not enough tinder is not real life those experiments use a small sample of people, not 7.5 billion people. Those experiments are taken out of context. The point is, nothing will ever be proof to them because they are not interested in whether it is true or not. They don't like the tenets of the block pill because they upset women and infer that women don't have agency and are just a slave to their biological imperative to be donged down by Chad or failing that to secure a beta provider who they don't mess around with. Who cares if it's true? It is offensive, so nah, 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 I can't hear you. Remember the incel tier void who said, I don't like that statistic that 28% of men are incel, because it makes it seem as if incels are right. That's it in a nutshell. I don't like any facts you present, because it uh, buttfricks my worldview. You can't prove them wrong, because your facts are wrong, not well sourced, biased, not scientific, etc. They don't give a shot. If any incel tierer is brave enough to screenshot this, none will. Note that in their comments, there will be no credible refutation of that study that at least 28% of men are incel. They just gloss over it and straw man me. Yikes! I bet he ropes babies in his basement, silly incel, shouting into the wild, why won't women date me? LOL incels and their facts can't find the statistic they're referring to. Even though I didn't Google it, the statistic didn't present itself to me, and therefore it doesn't exist, etc. 
edit, I will update this thread with egg on my face if they screenshot it and disprove my assertion above. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you want to be absolutely amazing and supportive for the channel, be sure to slam the like button, comment down below what you liked about the video, and if you have not already subscribed to the channel, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.